Have you been experiencing an intensely itchy rash that looks like this? If so, it could be scabies. I'm Dr. Hart Pinto, an actively practicing family medicine doctor in the UK, and in this video, we'll talk about scabies, the rash, and the best treatments. Scabies is caused by a parasitic infection of the human itch mite, this little fellow here. These microscopic mites burrow into the top surfaces of your skin where they live and lay their eggs. Nasty. This pesky little mite spreads from person to person through skin to skin contact. And it's more likely to affect you if you live or work in close quarters with many other people. Outbreaks of this condition are therefore common in nursing homes, long-term care facilities, military barracks and prisons. So what symptoms do you get with scabies? Scabies causes an intensely itchy rash at the places where the mites burrow into the skin. The itch is characteristically worse at night and can affect your sleep. The scabies rash can start anywhere on the body, but it's most commonly first noticed on the hands or the web spaces, that's in between your fingers. If you look carefully, you can sometimes see what we call burrows. These are little lines on the skin where the mite has entered and set up home. When the rash spreads, it often looks like a series of red or darker spots on the skin where active mites are present. The rash can be hard to see in dark skin tones, but you should be able to feel it, as it's usually raised. The rash also doesn't usually affect the head or your scalp, except in those who are very young, very old, or those with a weakened immune system. So how do we diagnose scabies? Your doctor can diagnose the vast majority of cases from your symptoms and the appearance of your skin rash. Typically, there is also a history of contact with another infected individual. If there is a question to the diagnosis, your doctor may refer you to a dermatologist, a skin doctor, for further testing. How do we treat scabies? The main treatment of scabies is using creams applied to the skin to kill the mites. The most commonly prescribed is permethrin 5%, and it should be applied from the jawline downwards and left overnight for eight to 12 hours when it can be washed off. This treatment should be repeated in another seven to 10 days. It's also a good idea to trim your nails and clean underneath as the little critters can hide there too. Although these medications can effectively kill the mites, the itching may take several weeks to subside completely. If you're experiencing post-scabic itch, you can treat it with creams applied to the skin, such as hydrocortisone or crotomycin. Additionally, a sedating antihistamine taken at night can help with sleep and reduce itch at night. A good example is chlorphenamine. Treating all close contacts to prevent reinfection is essential, even if they don't display symptoms. This is because in the early stages of infection, you may not demonstrate the same skin rash. So your fellow housemates may also be infected and pass on the mites again. If you're suffering from scabies, simply taking the prescribed medications may not be enough. These tiny mites have infested your clothes, towels, and bed sheets. Washing all bedding and clothing in your house at 50 degrees Celsius or higher on the first day of treatment is essential. If you have items that can't be washed, don't worry. Just seal them in plastic bags and leave them in your garage for a week. Taking these precautions helps eliminate all the mites and prevents reinfection from spreading further. So what happens if you get the infection again? If you're still experiencing symptoms more than two to four weeks after your treatment, or you notice new burrows, your treatment may not have worked. If this happens, it's best to schedule a visit with your doctor for consideration of retreatment. In cases where the permethrin has failed, oral ivermectin can be trialed. Again, usually given as two doses around 10 to 14 days apart. If you think you may have scabies, speak with your doctor. The earlier you get treatment, the better.